teach that all nations can be saved. And that comes with this image. But salvation, give me that in John, John 4 and 24. Let me share something with you. You got a question? All right, no problem. I'm going to take your question in a second. So the Bible is saying with this image, it comes another gospel. The other gospel is everybody could be saved. But that's not what the Bible is saying. John 4. John chapter 4, verse 24. Uh, 20, 20, 20. John 4.20 Check this out The book of John Chapter 4 verse 22 22 He worship He worship He know not what We worship what We, we worship For salvation is of the Jews Don't hear that? For salvation is of the what? For salvation is of the Jews So only the Israelites could be saved That's what the Bible is saying in the what? The New Testament Salvation is only for the Jews. You agree with that text, sister? That's the word. That's right. How about you, brother? You all agree? So the word says only you people can be saved because only you people need saving. Let me hear you. Give me Isaiah 14. Oh, you got a question. I'm sorry. The brother had a question before you. Let me take your question. So God is not responsible for other Uh-huh. All right, give me a second. That's just. So the brother's asking, well, wait a minute. This brother's teaching salvation is only for the Jews. What about the other nations? I'm sure you want to know, right, sir? What about the other people that's made, that's different from the 12 tribes of Israel? What does the Bible say about that? Second Ezra chapter 6. Come on. The book of Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 54. So I'm going to answer the brother's question. What about the other nations, other people? Second Ezra chapter 6 verse 54. Yes, this is called the Apocrypha. This was removed in the 18th century by the Protestant Christian Church. The white mouth instrumental behind this. These books are actually found in the 1611 King James Version Bible. It bridges the gap between the Old Testament and the New. So when you read in the New Testament about Greeks, so you can understand, the Apocrypha explains who the Greeks are. It's the Israelites living like Greeks. Like for example, you call yourselves Guyanese. You are Israelites living like the tradition of Guyana. You celebrate Labor Day, you celebrate Pagwa, Idu Aza, you celebrate New Year's and Christmas. That's not in the Bible. So you live in like Greeks, but God actually calls you the Israelites. Right. So that's what this book explains in a nutshell. Read the Bible. The book of 2nd Ezra in the Apocrypha, chapter 6 and verse 54. Yeah. And after these, Adam also, whom thou badest Lord of all thy creatures, Adam, whom God made master of all other creation, of him come we all. Because all people that you see, all nations, they come out of Adam. You all agree? Come on. And the people of whom God has chosen. And out of Adam, there's a people that God has chosen. Who's that people? The Israelites. The 12 tribes of Israel. Those are the people that God chose, even though all of us came out of Adam. These people came out likewise, but God only chose them. But to answer the brother's question, come on. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. You hear that, brother? God, the Bible is saying God made this world, this earth, for our sakes. The only reason why the other nations are wrong is because they're supposed to be slaves for us. Right. That's in the Bible. I know it sounds like he had speech, but we're going to read the Bible and make it clear, clear and plain for you. So the Bible says God made the world for the Israelites' sake. Come on. As for the other people. So brother, you right here with a yellow shirt. You ask about the other people. What about the other nations? You're not worried about your people. I just want to know about the white man. Why can't he be saved? Why can't the Chinese man be saved? To hell with the black man. That's what's in our minds. Come on. As for the other people, which also come of Adam. What about the other people that came from Adam? Thou has said, God has said, that they are nothing. What does God say, brother? That they are nothing. You hear that, brother? What God said about the other nations? God says to hell with them. That's what God is saying. God is saying, as for the other nations that don't come out of the 12 tribes of Israel, I am saying that they are nothing. They don't have value. That's what God is saying. He only values you. Come on. But be like unto spittle. But I'm going to compare them to spittle. Who knows what spittle is? Joseph, you know what spittle is? How about you? You all know what spittle is? How about you, sis? How about you, brother? You know what spittle is? Spittle is the spit, the saliva that comes out of your mouth. God says, I'm going to compare them to the spit that comes out of your mouth. That's insignificant. That's dirty. Come on. And as likened the abundance of them. And I'm going to compare all of them. That's what it means by the abundance of them. Unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Well, let me explain that to the brother in the yellow shirt. Let's say you go to the pipe. 
and you pull a bucket of water, you walk in head into your home, and a drop, a drip of water falls out of the bucket, are you going to be like, oh God, why the hell did this drop fall out? Are you going to do that? No, you're going to keep it moving. God is saying that's what I come pray the other nations to. Nothing. You understand that? Do you agree with the text? That's what God says, brother. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. This is what God says about you people. So stop worrying about it. There's no other nation that comes here and asks about the well-being of black people. Right. Only blacks and Amerindians come to us and ask us, what about the other nations? Right. Why are you concerned about the other nations? We got too much drama and trouble going on within our nation. We need fixing. We are the people that need to repent and get our minds right. We struggle with, we, we're a uh, massively incarcerated group of people. We struggle with all sorts of STDs, single parent household. We got the worst jobs, the worst living conditions. And the best question you have to ask us is what about the other nations? They don't care about you. Read that. Then give me Baruch 4 and 37. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. You Israelites, you 12 tribes walking up and down. You are a holy people, meaning a separate people, unto the Lord your God. Because he's the God of Israel and none else. God is the God of Israel and none else. He's not a God of all nations. Let me hear you. Let me finish the verse. I'm going to take your question. Come on. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. God has chosen us to be a special people unto himself. What does it mean a special people unto himself? Meaning there's other people, but they're not special. When something is special, you keep it near to you. Am I right, sister? You treasure it. You've got a special shoe. You don't allow it to get mud on it. You understand? So God is saying, we are a special people unto himself. Come on. Above all people that are on the face of the earth. Did your brothers and sisters hear that? What did the Bible just say? Right here, Joseph. What does it say? All right, yeah. All other people on the planet. God is saying, these people are actually above. They're preferred, they're better than every other nation you see on the planet. Good. So the other nations are actually looking for our downfall, but God says we are above everybody on the earth. You got a question, sis? I know y'all have a tons of questions. Let me take questions now. Let me hear you, sis. Which, which race are what? Which race are what? Which race are Chinese? Which tribe are Chinese? The Chinese are of the nation of Israel. They're from the nation of Moab. Right. They're the Moabites the Bible speaks of. That's the Chinese. They know it too. They know they're from Moab. You don't know who you are though. What's your nationality? You see that? Well, you, you see that? Well, you're inquiring which tribe is what the Chinese are from. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. We got to share with the people what's their nationality now, because we don't know. We're inquiring about what the Chinese nationality is, but we don't know our nationality. You see what I'm saying, brother? It goes back to the, the original question you asked. What about the other people? Stop thinking about the other nations. Let me hear you. Okay. This is here. Yes, sir. But don't think it's going to take time. Look at those of them. We are lost. 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 The ox knoweth its owner. Now God is about to compare us to some animals. The Lord is saying the ox, he knows who owns it. Come on. And the ass, his master's crook. And a donkey knows his whole land. Come on. But Israel, but Israel, which are God's chosen people, don't not know what they don't know. They don't know who they are. So they make up titles like Guyanese, African Americans, Jamaican, Rastaman, Black Man. You understand that? Dogla man. We make up terms like these because we don't know who we are. Come on. My people don't not consider. And a lot of our people don't even take the time to consider who they are. They don't try to find out who I am. Give me Isaiah 65 and verse 15. Isaiah 65 and 15. So we, we go around with titles that God did not call us by. We go around with curse titles. Watch what the Bible says about that. Then I'm going to share your nationality with you. Come on. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 65, verse 15. And he shall leave your name for and you shall leave your God-given name. Meaning what? What did God call us, sister, with a gray shirt? What did God call us? God called us Israel. The 12 tribes of Israel, right? God calls us that, the Israelites. But what the Bible says? 
and he shall leave your name. But you would leave that name of being called Israel for a curse, for a cursed name. So now you say you're Guyanese, guess what? That's a cursed name. You say you're African, guess what? That's a cursed name. Because God did not call us that. That's, that's falsified information. We're supposed to go by the nation of our foreparents. Biblical Israelites. That's what we're supposed to go by. Because the nationality can't change. You understand that? Come on. And he shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. And you will leave your God-given name for a cursed name. So now some of you named Johnson, Edmondson, um, I'm going to say this, Durant. Some of you have these names. Those are cursed names. So that's that's right. not the game. What is I'm Israel. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.